What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and in this video I will be killing Pete the Ultra Invincible at overpower level 8 using a Jacob's Diub. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right, and if I had to guess, I wouldn't be. I am using the uh, DLC 4 gemstone version of this gun, so it's called a Citrine Diub, but I'm using it with a damage prefix as well. And so this is the only gun I'm going to use other than the Trespasser, which I've already got done using to knock off Pete's face shield. And then I'll go ahead and just try to kill Pete, uh, you know, the whole way down using Critical Ascension and Zero's other sniping boost. Now, this gun isn't optimal, obviously, because it doesn't fire too fast. Obviously, it's a single fire weapon. But because it is the Vladoff Barrel Jacobs, I can still fire it pretty quickly and I can try to keep it online as well as I can. I don't get good slag luck early in this fight, but uh, I do pretty well at the end of the fight once I have all the critical ascension stacks that I do go ahead and pick up during this. It is good that uh, I don't run out of ammo uh, during this fight. I just don't even have to pick up any extra ammo because I had enough with just a simple stockpile relic. And so that works out really well and you don't have to bother with the ammo uh, cases at all. I was actually kind of expecting to have to bother with the ammo cases, but I was able to stack Critical Ascension pretty efficiently with this gun. And the reason I'm doing this kill today is someone asked me if I could kill Pete with a Jacob's single fire weapon, and I figured this would definitely be the best one to do that with. Being the gemstone version uh, from the DLC 4 Butt Stallion does add just a little bit of extra critical damage. It's not too much, but obviously, you know, it'll help a little bit. And so, why not go ahead and use that version of it? Now I'm going to go ahead and get more kunai on it for that 80% damage boost. Go ahead and strip his shield, or finish depleting his shield, rather. And then I will hide behind this pillar so that I don't pick up the fire damage over time. Now I want to make sure I kill Pete before his next Nova, because I don't want to have to hide from that one again. Luckily, now that we have such high critical ascension stacks, uh, we will be doing a lot of damage, especially when our B is active. Unfortunately, he got unslagged there, but we're still going to be able to take him out after our next deception. Obviously, uh, the times were dark indeed when Kunai weren't boosting uh, damage by 80%, but now that they do that again, it has helped zero out across the board. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, I'd never really killed Pete with a single fire weapon like that before, semi-automatic. But it was pretty, fu it was pretty fun. You know, uh, maybe I'll try it again. Try to do a little bit better, get a little more uh, consistent with my headshots. But that worked out pretty well, and it wasn't very difficult at all, and it didn't take too much time either. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I very much do appreciate it. If you haven't yet, please take the time to subscribe. I'd really appreciate that as well. Otherwise, I hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.